friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. This is a little bit different kind of video for me. This is something I was tagged in from my good friend Barrett Pastor. I will link her channel down below for you guys. This is a tag all about weight loss. Highest goal weight or highest weight, goal weight, non-scale victories anything and everything about my weight loss journey. And I thought that if anything, the answers that I share to these questions will hopefully help you guys out a little bit in your weight loss journey. So if you wanna hear my answers to these few questions about weight loss, just stay tuned. what is your highest weight? So back in the early 2000s when I joined Weight Watchers for the first time, yes, I've joined Weight Watchers a few times in my life, I was 325 pounds. So that was my all-time highest weight. The next question is, what diets have you done? Oh lordy. Okay, so like I mentioned, I've done Weight Watchers a few times. I've done keto. I've counted calories. I did Atkins back in the day. You name it, I've pretty much done it as far as diets go. But Weight Watchers or WW for me isn't a diet. It's a lifestyle. So it's really been the one thing I've been able to stick with long term. I've lost a lot of weight on WW in the past. I lost over 100 pounds. So I know that the program works. I know that I can stick to it because I did it to lose the 100 pounds. So definitely WW is my top notch favorite, but I have done just about every diet plan you can think of. Number three, why am I losing weight? Well, first of all, because I need to, to be healthier, and also so I feel better. So I feel better in my clothes, I feel better in my skin, I feel better all around when I am at a healthier weight. So that's what prompted me to lose weight. I'd like to be able to fit in the clothes I could wear five or six years ago that I can no longer wear. And honestly, besides my health, just overall feeling better. Number four, what is my favorite food? So I'm gonna give you two answers. First, my favorite WW food, and secondly, my favorite food. If I could eat this every day for the rest of my life and never gain a single pound, what would that be? So my favorite WW food I'd have to say are the Built Bars. I love them. I eat one every single day, sometimes two, depending on the day. They keep me full. They keep me satisfied. I am a huge sweets eater. So they really truly cure that sweet craving for me. So they're a staple in my plan and they are probably my favorite food on WW. And my favorite food ever, like I mentioned, is sweets. I love sweets, I love cake. I literally could eat cake, you guys, for every meal. That's probably part of the problem. But I love cake, and if I could eat cake every day for the rest of my life, I would. Question number five is how do I reward myself? So what do I do to reward myself when I stay on track, when I lose weight? So what I do that is a non, monetary thing for myself is in my Erin Condren planner, which I love. Every day that I stay within my points or I get a blue dot, I give myself a little star sticker from the Dollar Tree. And it makes me happy to open my planner to the monthly layout and see all of those star stickers. Those are the days that I stayed on track. So I reward myself with just something so simple as a sticker when I stay on track. And the things that I do when I lose weight and hit milestones, five, 10, 15, 20, 25 pounds, those types of things, I generally will do something for myself that is not food related. I may buy a new piece of clothing, uh, some new shoes, maybe something for my house. I may just buy myself a little something or do something a little extra for myself, like get a pedicure in the winter when I only traditionally do that in the summer. So just things to reward myself for little milestones. I think it's important to reward yourself for the little pieces rather than just the big pieces of your journey. And on that same note, number six is how do I reward myself for non-scale victories. So non-scale victories for me are a lot of clothing related. So like I said, there are clothes that I have five or six years ago that fit me that no longer fit me. Like I can probably not even get them up past my knees. So whenever I hit a non-scale victory goal of being able to fit in an old piece of clothing, that's how I reward myself, is to be able to wear that piece of clothing that I haven't worn in years. So basically, it's brand new to me. I can put it on, I can feel good in it, and I know that my weight loss has been successful because those clothes fit me now. Number seven, what will you do when you hit your goal? Uh, rejoice, hallelujah, do a happy dance. I'm gonna be so excited 
when I hit my goal. And I will hit my goal. I have faith in myself. Has it been as fast as I originally thought when I first rejoined WW? No. But that's not WW, guys. That's me. But I know that I will hit my goal and I'm going to be so happy when I do. So I've told myself that when I hit my goal, I'm going to plan a trip for my husband and myself. He's never been on a cruise. So I thought, how fun would it be? It is a non-food related reward for when I hit my goal, my husband and myself can go on a cruise. So that's my ultimate plan. Once I get a little bit closer to goal, I'll start really planning out the cruise and the timeline and all of that. But that's how I'm going to reward myself when I get to goal. So number eight, what plan am I on? I am currently on WW Freestyle. However, as you know, the new plans all roll out on November 11th. So stay tuned here on YouTube for a video all about the new plans, but you're going to get the information first on my Facebook group. I'm going to put my Facebook group right there for you guys. If you're not part of my group, head on over. We are almost at 10,000 members, which is crazy to me. So come over, join the 10,000 people that are positive wonderful role models on WW, lots of great things shared on that Facebook group, but that is where I'm going to announce all the new plans first. Chances are there'll be a post and a live, and then I'll be able to record my video for YouTube. So I don't know what plan I will do when the new ones roll out. Right now, I'm leaning towards the green plan, but I have the purple plan on my other shoulder kind of talking to me, telling me that that may be the way to go. So for me, I want to hear what they say at my workshop before I make a decision on what plan I'll be do, doing moving forward. But right now I am on WW Freestyle. Question number nine is what habit did I first change when I started my weight loss journey? Oh my gosh, you guys, hands down, the number one habit I changed was reading labels. I literally just ate whatever. Now I'm far more conscious of macros, what's in food as far as ingredients goes, calories, serving sizes. I didn't follow any of that before I started a weight loss journey. So that is absolutely the biggest habit that I've changed. I look at the nutritional information of everything. So that has been a huge benefit, a huge habit that I've changed since I started my weight loss journey. And number 10 is what is my favorite body part? Oh gosh, it's so hard to talk about yourself. Um, I'm really good at talking about myself negatively, but it's really hard to talk about yourself positively. So I would say that my favorite body part would probably be like my face, um, because I can put makeup on and make that look pretty good no matter what weight I'm at. Not um, saying that I'm any type of supermodel whatsoever, but I would say that that's the one part of my body that I can make myself feel good about by adding a little bit of makeup or fixing my hair. So I'm going with my face. So number 11 is what are my non-scale goals? So my non-scale goal number one is to be able to go to jazzercise six to seven days a week and not want to die. Because as of right now, being fairly new to jazzercise, you guys, it is an crazy intense workout. It is not for the faint at heart, I will tell you that. And it is not those 80s aerobics that you might think jazzercise is. It is so fun. It's dancing, it's weights, it's cardio, it's strength training, it's floor work, it's everything. And I generally can only go one or two days in a row without being super, super sore. So my first non-scale goal is to be able to go to jazzercise day after day after day and not feel sore and not tire out about three quarters of the way through. It is an hour workout and about three quarters of the way through, I'm getting pretty darn tired. So that is my first non-scale goal. Number 12, what has been my biggest challenge about losing weight? I would say being consistent. I'm good a few days, bad a few days, good a few days, bad a few days. And it's just this like literal roller coaster as far as it goes. So that's been my biggest challenge and also, being better about tracking. I always start my day out really good and I track my breakfast and maybe my first snack of the day and my lunch and then I literally don't track anymore. So those have been challenges for me. It's just creating some consistency, creating some better weight loss habits. I'm really good about going to my meeting. I've been great about going to Jazzercise. I am great about meal prepping. It's just the other pieces that contribute to success on my weight loss plan that I'm not always as consistent about. So that's absolutely been the biggest challenge. All right, next question. What is my number one tip for losing weight? Track, 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 track 
track everything that goes into your mouth. That is how you're gonna lose weight. Whether you are following keto, WW, counting calories, every little bit of food, every morsel that goes into your mouth, including your beverages, if you track them, you're going to see results. The bottom line to lose weight, we have to be in a caloric deficit. So if we're eating more calories than we're burning, we're not gonna lose weight. So if we are making sure that we are tracking everything that goes into our mouth, we are bound and determined to lose weight. It's gonna happen. It's facts of life, it's nature, it's reality, it's gonna happen. So track, track, track it like it's hot. Number 14, I love this question. What advice would you give yourself at your highest weight? I seriously love this question because when we're at our highest weight, we don't feel good about ourselves. We don't think there's any hope for us. We think that we're failures. We don't think that we're gonna ever be more than we are right then. But the number one piece of advice that I would give you is just do it. Go to WW, sign up, go to a meeting, get online, research what type of program is going to work in the long term for you. Pick something that is sustainable and just do it. And I remember, you guys, to this day, this is actually a little bit of an emotional um, thing for me, but I remember to the day that I went to Weight Watchers for the first time, I remember at 325 pounds sitting in my car in the parking lot of Weight Watchers and just not wanting to go in, not wanting to step on the scale, not wanting to be in front of people, not wanting to share my weight or how I feel at that weight. And it took me a good 10 or 15 minutes and my best friend dragging me there for me to actually walk in the door. And I would have told, I told myself then, and I tell myself this every time I don't want to go to WW or stay on program, just do it. Just make the first step because every step after the first step gets easier and easier. And number 15, the last question is, what is your number one way to stay motivated? I don't know if I can come up with just one thing. I think, first of all, finding a program that you enjoy and that works for you. Number two, setting yourself up for success, planning your meals, making sure you have healthy food options in your home. Don't bring trigger foods into your home because if we are craving something, you guys, it's not kale. We're craving our trigger food, whether that be chips or in my case, sweets. Don't bring it into your home because you're not gonna be able to eat something that's not in your home. And it's very unlikely that you're going to get in your car and drive to the store to pick up your favorite food. Now, might you? Yeah, you might. I've done it. But it's not as likely if it was sitting in your cupboard or in your pantry. So. Staying motivated, I think you need to have the program fresh in your mind. You need to change up the foods that you're eating. And you also need to find an exercise that you really enjoy. I remember when I went to a gym, I would dread going. I literally had to drag myself to the gym. And now that I've found jazzercise and I've found an exercise that I actually enjoy, I, I want to go. As the day progresses and it gets closer to the class, I'm excited. So find something that keeps you excited. And with that excitement, comes the motivation that you need to be successful. So that's it. That is the 15 question weight loss tag. Thank you so much, Barrett, for taking me in this video. I actually really enjoyed coming up with my answers and really thinking about and contemplating my answers to those questions. I hope that it helped at least one person because that's exactly why I have YouTube and do these videos. If I can just help one person, I'm thrilled. So hopefully you learned a little bit more about me. You got a little motivation for your own weight loss journey. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave those down in the comments below. I am going to tag a couple more WW channels down in the description box. So make sure you guys do the tag as well. So look in the description box to see if I have tagged you. And you guys, thank you so much for watching. It's a little different video. It is weight loss related and it's just a really good way to get to know me better. Please leave your comments down below. Thumbs up this video. It really, really, really helps my channel. If you're new, welcome. Please take a moment and subscribe and hit that little bell so you're notified every time I upload. I upload almost daily on my channel. Don't forget to join my Facebook group. Definitely do that so you get the up and up first hand news of all of the changes within WW and just a little bit of fun and motivation along the way as well. So thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.